This is Andy Perroir for Boxing Social and I'm delighted to be joined by Matt Macklin. Matt, we've just witnessed a shock defeat for Jordan Gill against Enrique Tinoco. First and foremost, your thoughts? Um, yeah, good performance from Tinoco. I think um, the problem for Gill was he, he didn't have the power really to hurt Tinoco and Tinoco hurt him badly to the body. And he didn't really, I mean he shook it off. But Tanaka knew that he could hurt him to the body and he just stuck on it, he stayed with it. And even some of the headshots were pretty meaty, you know, and you could see he was the stronger, more powerful guy. Gil boxed nice in patches, but I think, you know, first two rounds I gave him, I don't think I gave him the seventh, but other than that, really, and there were a couple of, there were a few 10 8 rounds in there, and uh, Tanaka just too strong for him, really, you know, and, 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 and he hurt him to the body, and once he knew he could hurt him to the body, he just stayed on it. How do you rebuild if you're Jordan Girl? What's the route back in back now? You know, he's 24 years old. It's his first loss. He's he's, uh, he's had six fights in 12 months. You know, maybe take a rest, and then uh, you know maybe look at things. Now he, he said afterwards that he was he's ill. Um, you know, I boxed ill in a fight I shouldn't have before. I remember feeling very weak in the fight. Had no strength, and, and what should have been an, a Comfortable win became a hard, real hard fight, and I just about won it really in the end. But um, you know, so it can certainly affect you. How much of effect only he knows how ill he was. Um, but look, he needs to. I think he needs to have a rest. Then he needs to go back to the drawing board and, and, and see where he went wrong in this fight and, and, and go from there. Lee Wood victorious tonight, Mo. Man from Nottingham. How impressed was you with him? Very impressed. Really brilliant performance. Came out from the get go. Uh, dictated straight away. Uh, th I thought initially maybe Ryan Doyle was just tucking up, couldn't get to grips with the southpaw stance and the switching, was maybe just trying to uh, warm his way into the fight and it was a case of like damage limitations and was looking to come on in the second half. But that's not what happened, you know. In fact, what happened was Lee Wood just got comfortable and just got stronger and stronger and, and got more dominant as the fight went on. and. Uh, actually wasn't surprised that he got the knockout in the end. You could see that the writing was on the wall for that. And just to go through the rest of the card, how impressed were you with the likes of Fabio Ward, Lee, Chris Billum, Smith, uh, Terry Harper, amongst others? All of them, Terry Harper, boxed really well, really good performance for her. I'm glad it was, uh, you know, it was a nasty cut, so I'm glad it was uh, stopped. I think officially the ref was disqualified, but I don't know, but it was disqualified, I thought it was a bit harsh. Uh, stoppage, I thought, was the right thing. Um, either way, I'm glad it was over when it was because it was it was one-sided and a terrible cut. Um, Fabio Wardley was uh, impressive. Was some really meaty uppercuts from him. You know, no amateur background, just a white-collar experience. So, you know, he's he's progressing nicely um, against modest opposition, but nonetheless, he's progressing nicely. Um, who else was on the card? I was impressed with uh, Dalton Smith. I thought he boxed well. That was a good pro debut, also. Um, Charles Frankham, you know, Charles Frankham's very, he's an, he's an immature 19, he's, he's still a boy, uh, good amateur, um, he had, a, he had a, a real fight for his pro debut, the guy was rough, to, uh, rugged and tough, so uh, yeah, it'd be interesting to see how he, this is a next gen, the next generation, so this is a show full of prospects, so it was, uh, it was enjoyable to see these guys starting out their career, some taking that next step up. Jordan Gill took a step up tonight. Didn't pay off for him. He's ill, he was ill. That could have been, been a factor, I'm sure it was. So, look, there's, there's, there are things that he has to address now. Go back, look at things with his manager and his trainer. And uh, he's, he's 24 years old, his first loss. It's not the end of the world. I finally just want to get your thoughts on a couple of things away from uh, this fight. First and foremost, rumours of a Canelo Callum Smith fight. Are you interested by that one? How do you see that one playing out if it was to happen? I'd be very interested in it. Callum Smith, hell of a fighter. Probably the, well, not probably, I think he's definitely the best super middleweight in the world. Huge super middleweight as well. Um, Canelo, definitely the best middleweight in the world. I, I don't know, is he good enough to step up to super middleweight and beat Callum? Would, would it be, would size be? A factor would it would speed be more of a factor? Uh, is he just at a higher level? Who knows? But Callum Smith certainly the number one super middleweight in the world, and there's weight divisions for a reason. So, yeah. But listen, if I, I'd, I'd get excited if that fight happened. And my final question: The WBC have come out and said that they want to make uh, Dillian White versus Tyson Fury as uh, the final eliminator for the WBC belt held by Deontay Wilder. What are your thoughts if that was to happen? I don't think it'll happen. 
I, 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 think, I think Fury's I, 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 Fury's so mobile, so elusive, so slick. I don't, I don't, I, I, Fury might be the best heavyweight in the world. You know, I think it's between him and Joshua. Dylan White, he's up there. He deserves his shot. But I think, I think, I think Tyson Fury too slick. Well, Matt Macklin, I know you're going to shoot off now. So as always, thanks for speaking to Boxing Social. All right, cheers.